Well, yeehaw! Welcome! It's Chelsea filling in for Danny down here, and today we're down on the Calgary Stampede Grounds for challenge number nine and the 4-H showdown. Now, the head honcho, one of the big 4-H members, is Rob. And Rob, the boys, they're getting ready. What exactly are they going to be doing today? Well, yeehaw is right, Chelsea, because <laughs> the 4-H'ers are absolutely excited. For starters, this is the largest 4-H activity that takes place in the whole of North America. Right. It's an amazingly big event. There's over 800 4-H'ers here. Right now, there's over 5,000 people on park, oh. and a lot of the eyes are on the vibe, guys. Oh, so. the pressure. You can feel it building. Absolutely. Oh. Chad and Fuzzy, they're, uh, I would say, under normal circumstances, they'd be wined and dined. Today, they're yes. going to learn about washing, brushing, fitting, showing, judging. Oh. They're going to run the gamut in about an hour as what our 4-H members do over the course of a year. Oh, excellent. I can't wait to get them dirty. This is going to be good. So you guys will be using these to wash. Okay. okay. How come he gets a bigger one than I do? It doesn't really matter. Are you sure? I'm positive. Are you sabotaging me here, <laughs> no, Chelsea? No, it does not matter. Okay. I'm concerned about sabotage. Well, I, I, yeah, I am after the challenges so far. Okay, keep going. And then what else? Okay. Okay. Is this oh, dish soap? This is good on your hands. Soap. So yes. we've, we've got our hoses. It's working. We got our little scrubbies right here. We're about to put some soap. What's this cow's name? Um, Tila. 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 Like Tila tequila, right? Scrubbing cows. Scrubbing. Hey, take it easy over there. All the bits of hay and grass out, right? When, when the moon, moon shines over the, the cow shed. shed. Is it okay with it? Sorry about that. It's kind of like the foot rub challenge, isn't it? Only it's a lot bigger. <laughs> well, <laughs> you need to move away from the bar so I can wash around. Okay? okay? So these boys did a very good job rinsing her off to start. Then they added the soap. They got it all scrubbed in nicely. No soap was left. They got her white spots nice and clean. She's got a little bit left on her. Which is kind of funny that Fuzzy forgot the underbelly. So, so we washed uh, the heifer and now we got Lucy here who's still wet, who's already been bathed, and now we got a blow dryer, right? Yeah. All in preparation for the big challenge. Yeah. Okay. Front to back. Yeah. Okay. You go backwards like that. Okay. Okay. Then for the leg, you go like that. Okay. All right, and let's do it. That's some. Let's blow. We're blow drying a cow. I like Up the little scratch. Forward. Up and forward. Whoa! Whoa. Because that is the 4 H motto is learn to do by doing. Oh, look what Fuzzy made it do. Look what Fuzzy made it do. I'll start with Fuzzy. He did really well because he went slow and he did not make many lines at all. And his hair is really dry on this side. And yes. there is not a shaving on here. And Chad, he he was he was going a, a bit fast, but in the end there were no lines and he did a really good job. I think you guys did really good for your first try. Okay, we got Travis, my teammate for the fitting. We got Andy, Fuzzy's teammate for the fitting. These we're guys gonna are going to show us how to, well, basically do by doing when it comes to the fitting, and then we're ready to show the cows, the heifers. The, what are they called? Heifers. 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 I knew I had it. <laughs> so we spray, brush it in, and then blow it off. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're spraying. This is kind of like graffiti almost. It's like cow graffiti. <laughs> So we're basically coloring. We're giving it highlights in a way is what we're doing, right? I mean, four cows had the same hair color its entire life. Can't forget the old underbelly. Okay. Well, that's the wrong end of the comb. My, my competitive advantage. My mohawk. I'm making it better. So we both did a pretty adequate job at this and we're ready to go on? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. We're true for it. We're becoming true for ers I think you're a little old. <laughs> we're a little wow. old. So before we change into our show clothes and before we take our heifers into the ring and stuff, we got Wade here. And Wade's kind of, well, he's the expert here today, right? So Wade, you're going to teach me and Fuzz just kind of what the judges are looking for, what we got to talk about with, with the heifer, right? Yeah. So we're looking for some length. We're looking for some width. Yeah. We're looking for some nice fat here in the loins, right? And, and just a nice meaty looking animal. Yeah. And very eye appealing and carries through nice and smooth. Oh, we're getting ready to head into the big ring right now to show the heifers and you know what? They're gonna get in their duds, get all looking good. I was beginning to wonder, the smell in this arena, you know, not so good. I thought it was the heifers, but the boys, they've been working so hard in their Wranglers, sweating all that kind of stuff. I'm beginning to think it's them, but we'll see. They're gonna come out in their fancy duds and show us what they got. Mama, 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 mama. 
It is on fire. Howdy, partners. So here we are down at 4 H on parade. Slipped into character mode. We're all dressed up. We're, we're all cowboyed up. We're ready to go, partner. I don't really have much to say. Everybody's calling me Woody. <laughs> Kids are calling me Woody. Fuzzy's calling me Woody. Everybody 4 H is calling me Woody. Even the cow, if it could speak English, would call me Woody today. <laughs> Just a second here. This is not a good start. This is not a good start. And then I place the feet. They blow and they fit. Make beef, come on, over here. Dun, dun, dun. We're gonna rock this party, all right? Make beef. I mean, eventually you're gonna end up on my plate, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I got the mad cow. Chad can't even get his to stand still. I'm just, just wanted to like me, that's all. Good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing? As for my, adju my adjudication of these two animals right here, yes, I know it's a big word. Um, the brown cow that Chad was taking care of it's while make beef. appears to be a, a, a little more wily, uh, it is also a, li a, little, a little rounder, uh, which would mean that it will probably have more marbled beef. Because when you're looking for a ribeye steak, what you're looking at is you're looking at the ribs and you're also looking at this section right in here. So you want something that's going to be nice and fatty and uh, this, this guy covers that. That guy over there, he's a little more muscly, strong, with a little bit of fat, but I think this guy's got a little more fat on him. So if I was going to the keg for dinner or someplace, uh, I'd want that guy on my plate, not that guy. All right, thank you wonderful people of the 4-H for being so kind to us today. So as Fuzzy mentioned, yes, he does know a little bit about going to the steakhouse, all right? But it's only a true chef that really knows how to look for the proper cuts of beef, and that's what we're here now. As much as Fuzzy mentioned, the fat is key in here, especially in the loin area, all right? It also has a lot to do with the length, all right? And as you can see, well, you know what, we got a little bit more of a straight back here, a higher tail, that's key as well. I don't know, this just, it looks a little neglected if you ask me, all right? This guy right here, I mean, he wants to go, he wants to be on somebody's plate, that's why he's trying to get out of here today, all right? So this is this is your heifer right here that you want taken out to the steakhouse. Steer! Or steer, pardon me, that you want taken out to the steakhouse, all right? And this is all about crowd participation, right? All right, so here's what we're gonna do right now. Because quite honestly, I think Fuzzy has this one wrapped because I couldn't even control my steer. But I'd really like everybody to get into it right now. So here's what we're going to do. When I say, where's the, you're going to say beef, all right? When I say, where's the, you say beef. So where's the? Beef. Where's the? Beef. Where's the? Beef. Thank you very much. Those of you who think that our French challenge winner, uh, here's the beef that French are ready is Chad. Come on, people, come on! Farmer Fuzz, another challenge down. We're down to the nitty gritty. That was number nine, and you're up 5 4, buddy. Up 5 4, Cowboy Chad. I tell you, I feel good about this, but I can't get over your outfit, dude. You look like Woody from Toy Story. Who cares about the outfit? I got a mad cow in the ring. You did. So I got sabotaged you know again. What? Maybe if you had Buzz Lightyear with you saying to infinity uh, and beyond, okay. it would have helped. Enough with the beef in the ring. You hungry? Yeah, it's got something to eat. Let's put some beef in the stomach. <laughs> Chad. 